Hello, welcome back. Uh, in the last couple of videos, we described you how you are going to uh, transform uh, from a system like this, uh, where you know you're not. It's difficult to find information, where it is uh, difficult to scale to something a modern infrastructure called database management or, or databases. Okay, so so all these things are being uh, transformed from here to here. Okay, so in this video, I just want to give you a perspective of how this database uh, DBMS or databases works on the whole from the system point of view. So to understand that, uh, let's take another picture. So this is the office of 1950s. Uh, this is the office of 2010 or 2012. Okay, so so in the 1950, we are storing the information like this, and there is a clerk or there is a person that is there to answer you the questions. Right now, here is a simple use case. So here is a person. His name is X, and X is going to ask this lady give her birth certificate. So to get his birth certificate from uh, from this lady, he has to go there and stay in a line and then and get it. And possibly, maybe he will never get it. Okay, but whereas in 2012, I just want some information. I this person is not going to that place. Either he's just doing something on the on his computer on the, over the internet, or he's calling he's, he's he's calling them, and there is some kind of a office which is called a modern office or a call center that is basically essentially solving the same problem that this guy used to be do. And the difference here, this works 24 by 7. This works fault tolerant. This this is more efficient, and whereas all the negative points here is that uh, this you know this is not scalable. This is this lady cannot do it, and this only work from 10 to 5 during office hours. Okay, so the question here is how we are going to transform from a system like this to a system like this. Okay, so so in this system, this lady was doing was doing most of the work. But whereas in this system, the computers are doing most of the things. So basically, what is what is the, how we make computers to learn? How we make computers to do a lot of our manual tasks automatically? Okay, and that is the branch of science we call information technology. Information technology. So what information technology is a science is, is engineering field which allows you to communicate with the computers to solve this kind of problem that you are seeing here. Okay? And this is what the field of IT and this is called information system. Information system. Okay? So how databases, how other pieces of software glue together to form a information management system. That is the goal of this video. That is what we are going to learn in this video, how to build an information system. So to build an information system, just go back to a, 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 a analogy that I'm, I can give you, that you, this is how you build a house. To build a house, you go, and then first you go to an architect who can give you a plan how to build a house. Then you go to different people to buy raw materials so that you can get wood, woods, you get sands, you get whatever, whatever you need to build a house. So you got this raw materials from different vendors, right? And then you hire some some contractors or you hire some some skilled workers who can build you a house. Okay? So that is called skilled workers. Okay, so so with this kind of mix, at the end of the day, you are going to build a house. So similarly, how to build an information system? Same concept. You go to a, go to somebody who can give you an idea. So they are called consultants, like people like Accenture, people like uh, you know KPMG, Infosys. These people are given idea how to build the plan the architectural plan they will understand your business requirement and they will suggest you a information management system but how do you buy the raw materials from from where do you buy the databases from where do you buy a software called middleware or where do you buy a software called storage so all those things you have to go to product company like Cisco, they will give you a router to route your network um, traffic. You go to Oracle, they will give you a software which can uh, create your databases, which can 
create your which which can be used for your uh, middleware and you go to sap to get back buy some erp applications you go to ibm to buy some storage you go to hp to buy some big machines you go to microsoft to buy some operating systems and so on okay so these are the these are the these are the companies or uh, who give you the product the or the raw materials to build an information system and then you need to find out some consultants who can some skilled worker who can uh, who can combine all those things together and build that information management system and this is where infosys data consultancy hcl wipro they come into picture okay so this is how you are going to build a information management system and that is how you are going to transform a office of 1950s to a office of 2012 in the next video we are going to discuss specifically about what Oracle can give you so that you can build this information management system. Thank you.